Who better to tell about the dramatic effects of global warming than the people in the high Arctic, where climate change is changing land and sea faster than anywhere else on Earth? It's where poisonous mercury, for example, is leaching into fish. They say we should slow down eating our traditional diet, but this is our traditional food. We can't just stop eating it. But a lot of scientific Arctic research doesn't bother to tell Inuit stories. This geography professor says that should change. We said, do what you do at this particular season, and we will go with you and we will bring cameras. Ian Morrow just co-produced the world's first documentary about climate change in the Arctic in Inuit language. Together with filmmaker Zacharias Kanuk of Fast Runner fame, they're pioneering a new way to do academic research with video technology. We made a film and people are telling their own perspectives, they're telling their own stories, and that really inverses the kind of dominant way of doing, doing research. And film festivals worldwide have noticed. We chose Kapirang Aduk because it is a very important um, piece about what's happening right now with climate change. But the professor's approach wasn't always popular with faculty members. With past films that I've made, there has been resistance uh, from the university community specifically about whether or not filmmaking is actually research. He had to prove filmmaking is legitimate research, can be peer-reviewed and make genuine discoveries. For instance, it's now the dominant view global warming is killing off polar bears but many Inuit see it differently. Inuit are saying that while polar bears may be uh, affected by climate change, it's not necessarily all bad. The bears, they say, are adapting by feeding closer to shore. And adaptation, say Inuit, may be something they'll have to do too. Mikhailo Prestupa, CBC News, Winnipeg.